Okay, it's time for chapter 11, section 2, the Louisiana Purchase. The main idea of this section is that Thomas Jefferson arranged to purchase the western land known as the Louisiana Territory from France, thus nearly doubling the size of the nation. So what are we going to learn in this section? First off, why President Jefferson wanted to control the Mississippi River in New Orleans. Second, how the United States doubled in size in the early 1800s. Third, how explorations of the West helped the United States to grow. Before Jefferson took office in 1801, most Americans still lived east of the Appalachian Mountains. Western settlers depended on the Mississippi River for trade, and this trade depended on the Spanish-controlled port of New Orleans. Yes, that's right, the Spanish controlled the port of New Orleans. Although there were treaties between the U.S. and the Spanish, American shippers still found issues occasionally stopping them from using the Lower Mississippi River and the port of New Orleans. One of the most common issues were taxes placed on goods shipped through New Orleans. The land west of the Mississippi River all the way to the Rocky Mountains was known as the Louisiana Territory. The Louisiana Territory changed owners many times between France and Spain. In 1800, the Spanish ceded or granted the Louisiana Territory to the French. With the Louisiana Territory changing hands once again, this event made Jefferson nervous. Now, with the ambitious General Napoleon Bonaparte in control of a major section of North America where he could possibly build an even larger empire. Jefferson also realized with the French in control of the Port of New Orleans, there could be more difficulties with, with American trade through the port. In addition, he could possibly press the Spanish for their, for their Florida territory on the United States southern border. Jefferson authorized our ambassador to France, Robert Livingston, to offer to buy New Orleans and western Florida. The House of Representatives gave Jefferson approval for up to $2 million for the purchase, and Jefferson sent James Monroe, a diplomat and former Virginia governor, to Paris, allowing him up to $10 million for the purchase. During the negotiations, the French faced an uprising in the Caribbean island of St. Dominique. In 1801, Napoleon sent the French army to capture Toussaint Louverture, the leader of the rebellion. Then, in 1804, when England and France returned to warfare, the rebels were able to finally overtake the French control, establishing the Republic of Haiti. Napoleon was faced with rebellion in St. Dominique and war with Great Britain, leaving him in need of cash over land in North America. So he decided to sell the Louisiana Territory to the United States to help pay for his warfare. The French Foreign Minister, Talleyrand, was sent to ask Livingston how much he would be willing to pay for the entire Louisiana Territory, instead of just New Orleans and Western Florida. Livingston was surprised that the entire territory was available. While Livingston was wrangling with the decision, the next day Monroe arrived in Paris, and the two men agreed to the offer to buy the entire Louisiana Territory. In May of 1803, the United States signed a treaty with France acquiring the Louisiana Territory for $15 million, nearly doubling the size of the nation overnight. Many Federalists feared the new territory would add power to the Southern Republicans and mean even more slaveholding states favoring Southern policies. Fortunately for Jefferson, most Americans favored the purchase and saw the possibilities for Western expansion and trade through the Port of New Orleans. The Senate quickly approved the treaty and America was doubled in size officially. With the new territory in hand, Jefferson commissioned an expedition to travel the newly acquired western land to learn more about the area, specifically to find the start of the Missouri River and to locate a pass through the Rocky Mountains to the Pacific Ocean. Meriwether Lewis and William Clark were appointed to lead the expedition west. Leaving in 1804 from St. Louis, following the Missouri River, three boats carried four dozen men west. As they traveled west, they sent back samples of items they found during the expedition. One package sent to Jefferson contained a stuffed antelope, a weasel, three squirrels, a prairie dog, elk horns, a buffalo skin, and Native American items. In April 1805, the expedition left the Mandans, a Native American tribe in present-day North Dakota, 
with the new guide, Sacagawea, to Idaho. From there, Sacagawea and six other Shoshone guides led the expedition through the Rocky Mountains to the Pacific Ocean. Lewis and Clark returned to St. Louis September 23, 1806, after traveling for over two years and 8,000 miles. They didn't find an all-rock they didn't find an all-water route through North America, but they did map out several passes through the Rockies. With the country double in size and at peace, the 1804 election took place, and Jefferson won easily, although with a different running mate, George Clinton. His former vice president, Aaron Burr, ran for governor of New York against Alexander Hamilton, who beat Burr. Hamilton continued to badmouth Burr after the election, and Burr challenged Hamilton to a duel. In July 1804, the two men met at sunrise for their duel. Burr shot Hamilton, who died the next day. With Hamilton's death, Burr became a political outcast for the rest of his life. Now for your test questions. The following questions could possibly be on your test. Question number one. Thomas Jefferson wanted to cut the Number two. Albert Gallatin convinced Jefferson to keep the Number three, under Jefferson, the federal government made income through the sale of western lands and through Number four, judicial review concerns the power of the Number five, the war against the Barbary Pirates demonstrated that the United States needed Number six, the Americans were outraged when the British damaged the American warship Number seven, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark started their expedition from which U.S. city? Number eight. Impeachments must begin in what body of government? That concludes this podcast. Thank you.